With near daily threats of war and reprisal, tensions on the Korean peninsula are as high as they've been in years. In South Korea, one teacher is trying to overcome those tensions and give children who have escaped North Korea a better life. CBC's Catherine Mercier has that story. <laughs> Smiles and joy light up this classroom on the outskirts of Seoul, but children here have a connection to a different, darker past. 15-year-old Pak Sun Bin spent more than half of his life in North Korea. Coming from a place known for famine and hardship, he was taken aback by how modern South Korea was. <laughs> When I first came to school here, there was a computer on the teacher's desk. I couldn't believe it, he says. To help North Korean children living in Seoul to adjust, Lee Dong-man opened up this free tutoring center, which runs on donations. He told us the biggest challenge for the children is their accent when they speak and the lifestyle. North Korean children sometimes get bullied because they're different. Integration is not always a smooth process. In North Korea, when you go out of your house, you just start playing and you make friends. Here, kids talk about computer games, and I didn't know much about those, he says. Lee knows all too well the immense contrast between the two countries. He himself is a defector. In 1998, he risked everything by crossing the river that separates North Korea from China. I don't miss North Korea, but I wonder about my friends. I would like to see them. They're still living under a lie, he told us. For him and his wife, opening the school has been a great achievement. When they first came to us, some children had grades of 20 or 30 percent, but we raised them to 80, even 90 percent. I feel really proud, she said. Even though Lee and his family were able to flee the repressive regime, the latest developments on the Korean peninsula has them worried. South Koreans don't realize the seriousness of North Korea having atomic weapons. We don't know how they're going to use them, he says. They hope the shadow of the country they left behind will not catch up with them in their new safe haven. Catherine Mercier, CBC News, Seoul.